So recently Covet came out with the styling trunk. And typically on these competitions that you enter, you have to pick five items from the styling trunk. I freaking hate the styling trunk. I hate it. Introducing a new and lame way to play. Honestly, I think it's a bit greedy of them. I really don't know why they would create it. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to Fashion Feed. There we go. Okay. I think they're just trying to get you to buy more crap. So, try the new styling trunk challenges. Show us what you got, coveters. We're testing out our styling trunk featuring that... Oh, whoops. Feature that is all about giving you more options to show off your creativity. Bullshit. I mean, bull crap. Sorry, excuse my French. This new trend-based styling tool offers up a curated number of items tailored to each style challenge. Ch test it out and let us know what you think. Click to learn more. So, I've already left a bad review for it. I think it's garbage. So, this is a sample styling trunk. And you have to pick five items out of eight. What kind of garbage is that? That's just crappy. While, you know, if you were to just tell me a black velvet shirt, I could go through all the black velvet shirts and pick them. But instead, you tell me pick five items from the styling trunk when you've only got eight items in the styling trunk. So basically, it's mandatory that I buy these things. It's so restrictive. And does everybody have all these items? I just started playing this month. So, no, I don't have all these items. I haven't been playing since winter 2016. This is just a garbage gimmick. So, I'm going to show you how uh, difficult it is. We're going to do this challenge. I had an outfit in progress and I just was like, oh, threw it away when I was like, couldn't really do anything with it. And I was just playing around. So let's get her undressed because this is not what we do. Style a subtly. Wow, I cannot read today. Style a subtle, colorful look to attend a red carpet gala. Okay, I guess that would go. But it doesn't seem right with the background. The background looks all 80-ish. It looks all clubberish. Okay. That's not what I want to do. I want to do their styling trunk. This crappy styling trunk of theirs. So I can only pick five items from here, right? So say I didn't want one of these dresses. I still have to pick five items from the styling trunk. And then also in this challenge everything has to be fall 2015 so whatever they've already put in the styling trunk is already fall 2015 obviously um but say i don't want to do one of these so i still have to do a dress from fall 2015 but could i get away with it if i bought earrings a necklace a ring a bracelet that's four items okay and a purse so basically I can do all of that. I can get a purse or shoe or vice versa or leave one of those things. And then I can go find a dress on my own. Because I just think these are rather... They're cute. Well, that one's really cute. But I'm not feeling the background with these dresses. And... The background should complement the dress and vice versa. And I just think this is not appropriate. That dress, that background, no. This might go. Because you see this? You see it has like this little magical metallic tweak, twinkle. So maybe I'll do that. Let's do something else. Maybe we'll do. No. 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 I'm not feeling any. I'm not feeling any of this. <clears throat> I'm just not feeling this. Let's see. 
right okay what else are we gonna i really need help figuring out this hairstyle because things that i like they're not gonna get voted and sometimes i don't give a crap and i'll just be like poo whatever i don't care other times i'm like i really want to get this item i really want to win this item in the challenge see i think she looks so pretty but what I've noticed is that short hair, people don't vote well for short hair. It sucks. And I've done a couple of bald beauties, and they also didn't fare too well. So let's see. See, to me, the background kind of goes with that hair, but also colored hair like that. Ombre hair colored hair it doesn't always fly it has to be uh, usually like an extravagant challenge so so basic but I think that's what I'll go with I'll go with that I think I'm gonna stick with this dress in their junky styling trunk um, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and buy it Oh, dang it. I should have seen if I could have borrowed it. But chances are good that nobody that I'm friends with or nobody in the fashion house has has what I want. So, <clears throat> we'll go over here. See what Natasha has. No items. Chad, maybe he's got some good... No, 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 no. Natalia, what you got? Okay. Okay. Julianne, what's... Um, see what I mean? Jennifer don't have anything. Last friend, nothing. So, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to buy all this crap myself. With no help from my friends. Thank you very much. Well, I understand because y'all don't approve of this junky styling trunky anyway. I've seen it. I've seen it on the comments, in the little groups. I'm not the only one that hates this thing. So that's comforting. Let's see what that. What is this? Okay, style, subtle, colorful look to attend a red carpet gala. You know what? I really don't think that my short dress is going to fly. I think it's going to have to be formal. But I already bought the dress, so I'm not changing it. Style a subtle, colorful look to attend a red carpet gala. Shoot. Yeah. No. Hmm. Dang. Those go, but I'm not willing to drop 1,000 plus diamonds for some shoes that aren't even in this, even in this season. See how they do us? So greedy. Well, that's what they want me to do. They want me to buy more diamonds. That is cute though. The little apple bag. I can't imagine when else my girl would use it though. Right now, I'm just kind of looking for whatever is cheapest on the menu. In their crappy menu, they only have like... This tiny early bird special selection. It has like two ma main courses, if you know, two main entrees. I have these. This selection in their little f styling chunk is like day old meatloaf and clam chowder. That's like the selection for today's entree on this little tiny menu. That they've given me. I really don't want to drop that much for a purse. So. I've got the dress. So that's one. Gosh. Jeez. Louise. So I'm going to have to buy this. Right. 
That's a lot. Whoa, hey. That is like, hello, hip hop. All right. But I like it. But it's not subtle at all. So why was it in the styling chunk to begin with? See, that's how they do too. The other day they said style a semi-formal look, but you could only pick out a formal dress on the challenge. I had to screenshot it. It was so stupid. And let's see. Okay. You're probably saying, well, if you hate this game so much, why are you playing it? Well, I don't hate the game. I just hate the way some things are done in the game. Oh my gosh, am I close to it yet? Jeez. Okay, one, two, I bought earrings, right? Three. Gosh. Isn't this like, I'm buying this stuff, and I'm never going to wear this stuff again. I'm not going to throw this stuff on my model. I just want to show you how pathetic this is. Okay, so I got to do... One more thing. I got to buy some shoes. There we go. Dang. So everything I have is from the styling chunk. So shoes, shirt, I mean shoes, dress, necklace, bracelet, and earrings. Oh, but you know what I could do? Okay. Challenge fall 2015. I could wait. I'm so confusing. Math, math has never been a strong subject for me. A dress, a ring. Wait, I want to do a ring. If I can do... No, because there's... Did y'all see a ring in the styling chunk? Did y'all? Because then maybe I could buy my shoes outside their stupid little styling chunk. I see a bracelet and a bangle. Another bracelet. No. So I'm either buying these shoes or I'm buying this purse. Three forty for the shoes, and none of these sh purses are affordable. Or this, or this. Ah, uh, those are shinier and they're cheaper, so we'll just go with those. Okay. So, that's my girl. Watch, I spent all of my diamonds. Holy crap, I spent a lot of diamonds on this outfit. And look what happens. Watch. Watch what's going to happen, you guys. It's going to get voted on, and it's going to be, like, super, super crappy. Like, it's not even going to hit, like, three and a half stars. So, I guess I don't need to max anything. I need to vote more fall item okay let me see Let's see if I got anything of else to put on I don't have a ring or anything I don't think a belt's gonna look oh, gross all right apparently I gotta go vote so let's go back over here before I submit it because it's gonna throw me back anyway and I'm not wanting to or willing to pay for Vote. So let's do some voting. Vote on the best bright boho look for a going away party in LA. Boho-ish. I think uh, the model on the right is more boho-ish. So let's go for her. And I say on the, the redhead on the left. Also, you know, redheads don't get a lot of votes. Um, and I hate to say this, but this is so, so true. I feel like the darker my model is, and because I, I love variety, I feel like the darker my model is, or the whiter my model is, so either dark or pale, get the least amount of votes. Redheads get the least amount of votes. Anything that's, like, creative and unique gets the least amount of votes. So you... If you're still trying to be creative and you're like, you know what? Screw the players who are racist. Screw the players who vote um, 
and they go and they shop at their boring little places and they do their boring little things and they always stay inside the box you just say i'm gonna maximize my unworn i think girl on the left is more boho-ish maximize my unworn and i'm gonna maximize my uh season right so that you can make up for all the haters who voted for somebody else's outfit or girl or model you know because unfortunately people do bring their biases their bigotry and their racism into anything that they do right if they're bigots they're not going to stop being bigots when they play a game they're still going to be bigots so bigots do play games unfortunately and and i see that in this game and that's not a covet's fault that is a humanity problem right there that is a humankind problem right there okay Vote on the best look for shopping at vintage boutiques in Palm Springs. So, I think uh, Pants Girl's going to get that. Okay, but why would you go shopping in a formal dress? Come on now. So, obviously, Lady in Red's going to get that. <sighs> Let me see. Well, mm, okay, I, I'm going to go with Lady in Blue and Yellow and Red Dress. Because she's not going clubbing yet. And, um, either one of these is good for me. So we'll just do equal. Um, a little overdone on the right. Pretty alright on the left. Except for those shoes are too little sparkly. Look uncomfortable to be shopping in, but whatever. Okay, um... Vote on the best romantic fairy tale look for a happily ever after ending. I like the blue, the light blue dress. Um, I like things a little more simple. Um, my problem is with these girls that always have the long hair. Because those are the ones that seem to always win the competition. I'm going to go for... I like both of these looks a lot. But I also like creativity and, and things. So I'm going to go for the pink hair. And we're going for the right. All right. So I need 25 votes to enter that stupid thing I just did with the styling chunk. So uh, we're not.